Good evening, everybody. I hope you're well. I hope you had a good week. Um, hope you had a liquor one. Um, we, we, we're getting ready for a liquor show tonight. We're going to be, uh, um, I think you all know who we're going to be interviewing. We saw the flyer, saw the poster go out. Um, but I'm just glad to be back in the studio. It's liquor. We, uh, it's been a week. Yeah. Listen, I had a good one. I actually had a good week, my brother. How was your week? My week was good, brother. What did you get out of it? <laughs> but it was liquor, you no know, stuff it was that was that I was pushing for. Um, some of the things came through. Other stuff that I was pushing for is lining up, so it was it was a liquor. It was it was it was good bro. Good, good, good. So you just continued putting one foot in front of the other, my brother. Like you say, bro, we were just going, we were going, we were going, so um, and I think after just putting in the time, putting in the effort, you seeing things come and you just trusting God, you push on and things happen. So, it's been a good one, it's been liquor. Um, and yours? Hey bro, this week was just proof that my bro, perseverance, my bro, and hard work, you will get results. And my bro, just have faith, my bro. Things that you speak into existence and the people you surround yourself with, my bro, mm. will definitely get you places, my bro. Show me your friends, my bro, and I'll show you your future. Send you. Oh, yeah. How's your, your thing going with Brandon? Yeah, my bro, update on Brandon. Brandon's actually doing quite well. He's now um, currently in another program with us. Um, we made, my bro, we actually made some good progress. I figured out a lot. Guys, you can watch the, the updated videos. I'll make a video of Brandon tomorrow also. So we worked on courage. We worked on um, leadership. My bro, there's a, there's a part things that we were working on. Man. And through all the things that we worked on, um, I can say that Brandon is really going to be making a success of himself. Um, for those who don't know, Brandon... I was um, just going to ask you, I give yeah, a bit of a background Brandon, there, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon a background on Brandon. Brandon is a kid that got lost in the program, in the system basically. So he ended up at um, the resource center at Camp Joy. Um, it's basically works with rehabilitated gangsters and um, ex... Like, rehabilitated um, drug addicts so I have a little skills workshop there that I'm teaching skills uh, motivating encouraging um, basically getting your game job ready to get out there or try and do something for yourself when you leave the program so I saw Brandon when he came in and he looked a bit afraid my bro, and I could see this lady didn't have any confidence and so on and then I took this lady in my bro, and I told him check him take under my wingman and it's been about eight weeks now and what I can truly say, everything, like that we, everything that we have been working on, all this light he needed was, my bro, he needed love, my bro, he needed love, my bro, ah. everyone needs love. And he just needed guidance, he needed somebody to be there, to stand with him, to show him. And now, today, while we were busy working and he was busy sanding a bumper, and I was checking how he was taking on the shapes, man. And I was like, yo, my bro, you actually fang him heavy tips, my bro. Quickly. Quickly, my bro. Uh. So yeah, shout out to Brandon, shout out to Jose. Jose is somebody that's showing also very much promise. He has experience in the trade. So he's going to be alongside me after his program and we're going to teach this together. Oh, yeah, no, so the team is growing, yeah, the team is growing. So guys, stay tuned. Resistance Custom Show is dropping soon. Mm, I was going to ask soon. you what's happening with the Resistance it's Customs, my bro. I'm it's waiting. Let's just bring it for them. I'm waiting. They're not ready yet. They're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> so Javon, who do we have today, my bro? Listen, we got... Uh, I'm going to let you introduce him, but I'm... Uh, this has been something that I've, I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, okay, yeah, Javon. And it's, and it's Javon, officially our first me. MC what, that we got what, on what the show. What date was that, my bro? Listen. I mean, no, no. <laughs> so it's officially our first MC that we got on the show no tonight. So do. I'm, I'm a, um, I, 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 I enjoy a good MC, but some of they can put some, some stuff together lyrically, make you think, um, you know, bring the proper cadences and flows and all of those things. So I, I love a good MC. Oh, that was back in the day you were. We'll coming we'll from speak about that now, man. We'll speak about that now. No, no, no. So, <laughs> um, so you know when you know you're not in that league to be able to, uh, you know. But yeah. So listen, um, I'm gonna let you introduce the man tonight. Um, I know you've been been trying to get hold of him for a while as well. Yeah. 
Nah, but we got hold of him, bro, and I believe it's the right time, man. CJ. This was the right time. This is the time that we had. Time is good, yeah. Time is good. This was, this was your time, man, bro. So, guys, today we have none other than Crowbars. I'm sure you guys saw it, man, bro. And Crowbars is making his way. Let's just come on the ground, you Crowbars. One of the MCs himself. <laughs> The pleasure is mine. Away, greetings to everybody, man. Glad to be here, man. man. Can't complain, but you let the man in. No, right. Away, yeah, but listen to me. What is about to carry now? That's some first season guest. Thank you for being on, bro. You got yeah, your official crew boss. Cheers, my bro. That's, yeah, that's, that's too much. <laughs> too much, my bro. So, so yeah. Don't customize cup, don't play. So, so that's your coffee in the morning, my bro? Hmm? Definitely king yours. I was with Technique enough. today. Oh, this um, is the first edition. Yeah, I know. So, um, shout out to also Technique. I was with him today. We spelled his name wrong. Well, didn't spell his name wrong. So I told him, my bro, I owe you one. I'm going to bring you one. I'm going to make a whole fuss about it next week. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that Zedna? one, that's my, yeah, that's it, uh, the Z also, Crow Bars, yeah, I was yeah, like, hey, you said, nah, for the Z, bro. Nah, nah, that always gets the main to me. Where did Crow Bars originate? Oh, uh, tell us, yeah. Uh, 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 yo, it's a long story, bro, but to cut it short, it's basically just like, um, at the time, I didn't have a stage name, I first went to um, Biggie, my nickname, people call me Biggie, I don't see it, and then, um, uh, afterwards, I changed my name to King Carl, and then, then I stopped the music for a while. Then I must obviously drop my first video, and people were asking me, "What's your stage name? What's your stage mm. name?" I'm like, nah, I don't know, I don't know. I said, now I want to do something with my with my own name in it, man. Um, and a proud man was sitting with me. I was like, I want to put um, because. Very, um, everyone is low, this, MC, uh, that, um, <laughs> big, that, you get what I'm saying? So I was like, nah, I want to I wanna use like bars as a connotation for music. And then I want to put something, I can do it, and something bars, you get what I'm saying? And uh. then, uh, me and my brother was chilling and it was just like, Kiara, it's a pity your name don't start with a C, otherwise you would have been like, crow bars. And I was like, nah, maybe we can even still mm. use that. With the um, KV, yeah. Like now, nah, but let's make it an, make it an acronym. Um, let it represent something. Like it represent Crow, uh, K R O. Yeah, it's just track. Cow represents originality, bro. Oh, yeah. Just being an original artist, being authentic all the time, just um, bringing out what I have inside of me, whatever I'm feeling, and so always trying to be real, always try to tell a real story. Never like um, always just to tell artists that. It's best to keep it as close to the truth, man. And then it's not going to be so difficult for you to maintain that character that you're trying mm. to portray and mm. all of that. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, just yeah, Cal represents the originality, bro. And with bars, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's all I can say about my name and where it came from, what it stands for. Yeah, it's me, bro. It's Cal. <laughs> How did, no, bro, so, when did, when did you begin to start with the whole... But I mean, was it always ramen when you just like, listen, I know uh, uh, I'm loving KRS1 or whatever the case is, or, and I'm like, I want to start putting it together. Was, uh, it, was it just something when you were ramen in the back of the class like most hours? <laughs> nah, <laughs> and somebody was making the beats? No, that music has always been in my life, my bro, man, to me. So when I, when I grew up, I was listening to like Boys to Men and oh. Cisco mm. and Drew Hill and all of that shit. And then, because my brother then was singers, always tried to sing, wasn't so good at it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then the music was just always in my joint, man. And then eventually when I grew up, I was like probably like 13, 14 years old. And someone in my, in my um, friend circle was making his own music, recording his own stuff in his room. I was like, but bro, I also want to do that. Can't I make ah. my own song? And I was like, nah, write something. And then from there I started to write something and then are we in Amia? It's just you know you can't really say where it started, man. It was just but one of those things that happened, yeah. Yeah, just if it's meant for you, it, it's meant for you. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know it was something that you're gonna follow, you're just singing along and rapping along over you. Yeah, I never saw myself as a rapper though. 
Is it? So, yeah, never, I never saw myself doing music the way I'm doing it now. Uh, just always doing it for the fun, rapping in the shower, rapping in my room, rapping for the parasa. Just, I mean, for it's fun. Like coin is in it's also still well. fun for me, isn't it? Ah. It's still fun. I, saw I enjoy you, it. I saw you and Dick really had a, a little, small little thing going on at once. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What would you? <laughs> they they call it beef, but I wouldn't say it's beef. Uh, it's not the real beef. Uh, your your reply to it was that part is not real. Yeah. It was that that just content creation. Uh, I was just basically I had nothing to drop on that Friday. I used to put that when I started out. I used to put that the video every Friday. Mm. So no laming with my brass and rapping and so. Uh. And in that one Friday, I didn't have anything, and I heard this track where he's dissing me, and I was like, okay, fuck, people's gonna love this, let me just uh, write the song. Fuck, wait, uh, wait, 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 two hours before I dropped that video, I had nothing, and then I was like, okay, now I put a little bit of paper, and then, yeah, I just wrapped that. Yeah. But one thing that we have to give you credit for is you made um, the lockdown lit, maybe, bro. With all these, with all the main viewers, the busy touring out here, you made it lit, maybe, bro. TikTok was, maybe bro, TikTok was alive at that time, maybe bro, mm. like when he, because nobody had nothing to do and he could put out a diss track like in 10 minutes, and then man's got a diss track out. Yeah, bro, a man dropped the same night when I dropped that video. <laughs> 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 he stayed up until 3 in the morning and then put this a song out with an edited video on it that uh, yeah, he's and fast I had to record it and he didn't sleep, bro. At 3 o'clock in the morning that shit dropped on YouTube, I was like, nah, but this old man needs something better to do with his time. <laughs> I was just gonna greet a part of once. I see Jermaine Verlander saying hello. We can relate. Love, respect. Fade is in, my bro. Keegan is saying there. Fade is in. <laughs> Mr. Boss. Oh, Mr. Boss. funny plane. Uh, Randall Damon is saying. Was it Keenan that said that now? Huh? Keenan. Keenan van Keegan. Reden. Keegan. Oh, Keegan. Vraag okay, om. Cool. Shout out to Keenan van Reden from Grandfather, my bro, oh, yeah. for putting my... Oh, your fade is in. See, both of oh, your fade is in. Both of your fade is in. I appreciate it. Thank you for the line, my bro. I appreciate you guys. He's in... Um, Blow Doctor in... I'll drop his address in. Jay. That's my grandfather, my bro. Awesome. Where do you get your fade in? Me. I cut you. I cut my own... I was gonna say you look like one of that owns that do it yourself, my bro. I got my own name, my bro. So you don't like people touching you? How do you do the back, my bro? That's always been a thing for me. It was a murder, my bro. In another murder. He is me. How long does the cut take you? Bro, anything between an hour to see. As an effort, man. Sometimes I'll go to the bar, bro, and just start with the means to cut my cup. Most of the time I cut my own head, bro. I don't still have time to pay to you know, oh. have money to pay. I'm just broke, man. I'm just broke, get after me. Let's say I want to ask the industry wise, because I was chatting to, to Technique also. So you were saying the owens aren't really getting paid, my bro. From, right. uh, from like, uh, obviously, like you, you compared to America, you know, you see America is just bling, it's this, it's swingy, it's Hummus is the jealous foot, but yeah, you got somebody that maybe has got the same lyrical content, but like. They're not even recognized the same. Or just like the whole industry itself is very. But it's I'm talking from somebody from the outside because you're obviously in it, man. Yeah, it's very intricate, bro. It's not as simple, so very complex, and also um, everybody's journey is not the same, man. It mm. might take one rapper maybe 10 years, and it might take the next one to. Uh. To reach that um, mm. heights that the other rapper took 10 years for. It's it's not the same for everyone, man. So you'll, you'll have some people, um, like for instance, the stuff that I know, uh, I know now of the industry, other rappers that has been here maybe for 20 years or so, I speak to them and I, I can see now they don't know as much. I'm still also busy learning, but... Uh. The, you must just understand where you are at, man. And the audience you appeal to, what is the market that you are playing in? Like, mm. You can't expect um, to be bowling like America because in America, the, the, the main thing is hip hop. Ah. But if you now look at music in South Africa, who's pulling the most numbers, it's possibly, um, I'm a piano. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a piano. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's, 
where you at in the industry, which country you at, um, what your target audience is. There's a lot of factors that plays a role, man. So we can't really say, yeah, but us, I don't think there's many successful musicians. Um, I think everybody's also still trying to figure everything out, man. Even the people on the higher sides in the country. Are always like having to yeah. play around with it and say, okay, maybe this is not working, I must maybe go this route. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, it's a thing that, um, like, even like our, 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 our currency and, and shit, it plays a big role, man. Like, ah. people don't. And also like investors, bro, like money, money plays a big role in the industry. We can't be boiling like, I mean, if you see an up and coming rapper of America now, you'll see the man some of his first drop, you'll have like diamond change and, and, oh. and like, even if it's, if it's um, fake shit or even if it's a rental shit, then yeah, like, but whoever is investing in that artist can pay to, to have that shit in his music video. Unfortunately, it's not the same here by us, man. Especially in Cape Town. Cape Town is still very behind in, in the music industry. Is it still very um, controlled? Um, from your point of view? No, I don't, I don't think so. Because obviously with COVID, everything opened up and you mm. see people can drop doing their own things, they can drop their own videos, they can... Um, a lot of artists popped up through COVID, yeah. It, I think a lot of artists that were in the industry suffered in COVID. You know, because is they it? obviously didn't have the amount of bookings that... I mean, how long did COVID last in this two and a half? Almost two years. Two and a half. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, the artists that we used to getting like paid 25, 30, 40 K a gig, they didn't have that anymore because of like social distancing and you ah. know, everything was, so they suffered a bit cheap, but for me, I started in COVID. So for me, COVID was beneficial because now more people were on the phones, more people were, um, scrolling online streaming shit you get what i'm saying so for me to record phone videos in my room and whatever mm. um and I, I felt that a bit when, when when people went back to work afterwards again so now the numbers didn't look the same anymore but when it was covered and everybody was at home it the numbers like were booming because mm. uh, everybody was watching every video to receive this video uh. Yeah. You watch the same video a part times for that day, man, bro. You see exactly because you have nowhere else to go. So and the know. comment section is where the thing is ranking, and everyone's in the comments, and the streams is just going up. Oh, it's crazy, man, bro. Definitely. Mm. Where did you go? Did you go viral on Facebook or on TikTok? On Facebook from another friend of mine's page that posted my first video. Was that the one we were on the balcony? Um, no. Because that was the one we asked when I'm like, my bro. I was lamenting. Um, in the house there by me uh, with a leather jacket and a bag on my back oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. not sure if you saw that one I saw that one, yeah. that, one yeah. that was the first video ever posted of me and after that people started taking note um, contacting me and stuff and then I took it further from me met a lot of people learned a lot of stuff lost a lot of mm. gut bro it was <laughs> it wasn't like a thing Mm. My journey was a hectic one, you know, uh, somebody I, could I just start, me, bro, but yeah. Me. And you just started, me, bro. Yeah, bro. And, then and your I journey didn't know shit, was it? Your journey is my took a other turn, me, bro. Uh, that's life. Do we speak about that turn or not? We keep nah, it. it's, okay. Okay. I think it's in the past. Uh, I think yeah, it's, yeah. that yeah. doesn't matter anymore. But you have a song that speaks about it. Um, not really, yeah, I do. I just have a few, you know, have a few. The one with Malaiti, Malaiti made the video on it. So oh. responded, yeah. No, that was just Malaiti. a hint. There it was a hint, yeah, it was just a hint, yeah. There, there was a lot of hints in there, though, oh. for a lot of different people, but it's all subliminal, man. Nobody oh. would know what I'm talking about. So but you like unless it? Unless it's that person, right? Hey? Oh. You like the more battle rap? Oh. Uh, but uh, that is for me is like a, because you're coming mm. back at something you mm. you, you you responding but also sometimes you're not responding. Um, I, I do like healthy competition to me, mm. but ah. um, I'd rather write on a concept now man. Um, tell a story, write albums, and um, have purpose in your music, man. Instead of just rapping raw bars, putting it so mm. like okay. you get what I'm saying. Tell a message. Yeah. Bring it message so I'm more on that vibe now. 
telling stories. Te- I'm even writing from other people's perspectives now. Um, um, telling my friends stories in my music. You know what I'm saying? That is going to be making fall, it making you know. it seem as if it's me, but it's not. You know, the public will perceive it as me, but oh, it's, it's actually mad. somebody it's else's mad. story. Mad. 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 Are you gonna do something for us? Put a few bars, a bit later. A bit, a bit later. Oh, you can. You Why? Can. Just because, man. Just because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I can put me on the spot. Never, never. You want to ask him a few questions because he wanted to know top five or top ten, my bro. Oh uh, yeah. You so want now to we know. can just do a top five. Your top five in SA. Who's your top five in SA? You have a top five yeah. in SA. Yeah, nice, yeah. man. I know you're putting yourself at one, but now you're being humble, so. I'm not <laughs> in my top five, man. You're not in your top five. I don't really listen to South African music scene. My favorite artist was AKA, my bro. Man, I'm so rest in peace. But ah. my favorite artist was AKA. Um, and then, bro, I have to give it to Cream, and Cream is um, possibly the best rapper in the country. Um, early B. Um, Okay, so we got cream, we got early B. Oh, I have three more spaces. Mm. Uh, Stogie T, bro. Um, I like Stogie T. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I like know. his flow, is mad. I like that. Hey, Reese has recently been impressing me. Um, and yeah, I like a few, man. There's a few, man. Uh, obviously, and you're still up and coming out. Uh, uh, um, but yeah, I don't I don't listen to, to South African rappers, man. I don't even listen to American rappers, bro. Yeah. It's just I don't. So you don't have a five a top a top a top five American artists of all time no, of all time. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's now we go. Let's let's try to do it. Okay, okay. All time. Right okay. on top. I'm gonna put Lil Wayne in there. Okay. Okay. So. And I don't want anybody to argue with me about that because <laughs> I can, I can, uh, I can really back that shit up. See, okay. um, Ludacris, um, Luda, okay, yeah, bro, Big Sean, Fresh, um, King Lowe's, um, who else? Eminem, maybe, yeah, maybe. Nice. You are old Eminem. I don't think there's a new and old any rapper. I think that you make music in the space that you are in and the, that you evolve, man. Oh like even yeah, Kendrick, but oh yeah, fuck Kendrick, Kendrick is the best. I was about to ask you, Kendrick. Kendrick, is bro. I've so much um, um, yeah, that, Kendrick um, is also, I think, just. Yeah, Kendrick, bro. Like people say also that they want the old Kendrick, but I mean, the man's not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The man was so hard because he was in a certain space at the time, and, but now he's evolved already. He's, um, He's really comfortable in the game, and you can't expect him to make music about the same stuff anymore. Ah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you need to elevate, and if you listen to the type of music that he's making right now, like his latest album, album that he just dropped, you'll hear that it's not anything that anybody else is doing in the industry, mm. man. And mm. that's what it's about. It's about not about the cloud, not about the fame, not about the likes. It's about being innovative and. Um, being a creative, creating new, setting new trends, and yeah. and doing shit that people haven't hasn't done before. Because if you're doing what what's been out there, it's just a copy or a reproduction. Man. You get what I'm saying? Mm. It's all about being innovative, bro, and being a trendsetter. And that's my vibe. I don't care if people like my shit or not. You know. As long as I know that I can explain my work and I understand it, I like it, I feel it. And these others that also feels it so feel if you don't like it it's fine maybe you'd like the next one mm. that's uh operate my bro. always innovating coming up with new stuff telling exactly. your story because it's cool because you won't be at that same spot anymore yeah so five years from now you're gonna, I'm gonna be making different kind of music bro. exactly because now you progress it's now you're moving on up like and you're doing so that's like you can't talk about your struggle yeah and that's like me taking a public taxi and rapping about lamborghinis man it's just i can't relate <laughs> I don't know what it is to, to, to be skating Lambo, so why would I write about it? It's not uh, real, I'm not gonna feel that shit either. Mm-hmm. But, but that way. You can rap about your esports, man, bro. 
Nah, yeah. not the coco, bro. No. Better coco, coco better. Mag ik nog? I just know you get in. Um, you put, you start the car, you put clutch in, you can put you, in first gear and you drive. Can you drive? I work and can drive. You got your license? Because you say you know the coco. I've been, I've been driving for seven years without <laughs> license. <laughs> so. What can I say? <laughs> it's one of those things, my bro. It's one of those things. It's one of those things, yeah. I even have a warrant of arrest on my name for uh, <laughs> driving without license. You don't license. feel ashamed, my bro. My old oh, oh, master release a book. Like, he's still driving without license, my bro. And he's, yeah, he's 16. So you don't feel ashamed, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes gives my uncle's name in the red block. <laughs> Yo! That's it, man. That's it, man. Uh, nah, bro. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna, I wanna get my license, man. You know, man, pop, my bro, it's got to drive without license. Any blue light, but I'd get be a police, <laughs> eh, no, anything. You know, take a necessary detour. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you need to be that side time going. It's a right piano, I'm just gonna be down. You know, when you go to the shop, go. I'm panicked that it is owner. I went down a one way town, my bro, this was back in the day. I went down a one way, bro. And then the Buddha was still standing in front of me. And yeah, it was what it was. We leave that story for How much time time. did you get? Um, were you drunk? I also had a power warrants and stuff, my bro. Were you, were you drunk? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, no, I didn't say license. License. So why did you the drive up in license. the one way? <laughs> the car wasn't licensed, it was police of season. Yes, yes. I had a power warrants, they locked me up already. Serious? Yeah, I was there. Javon, you went. <laughs> My bro, you was now now that I'm getting ready for work. I'm in my, so got my coffee, I'm going down. As I come over that, just here, bye bye. Um, you have the village before you get there. They must used to put that just so there. Bro. That, um, that big road block. I'm checking the van and it, all of that, and I'm thinking, you know, yo, please know me. Pull me over. Like, sir, I see these three warrants on your name. You know Hectic. that, like. Two is already enough. So I'm like, yeah, you know, can't we, uh, you know, make a plan or? <laughs> but I guess we can. But you can phone somebody to, to take your car home. And then you unfortunately gonna have to come with us. Now my warrants fell away, my bro. No. Remember no. there was a time when it reset, the system reset. For some reason, some data get lost. I don't know what happened, but all my warrants, my bro, disappeared. I had like 10 fines and warrants combined in there. And it was long, my bro. And it all went away. <laughs> Shout out to you, shout out to you. No, my bro, you're yeah, the yeah, I to, I, I to, I to endure. Uh, it wasn't just mine, there's a lot of And this was a Friday, man. Yeah. This was a Friday at like 10 o'clock in the morning. They're like, dude, you got until two. Ga call in getai? Because otherwise, it's weekend, my bro. I'm like, I don't know, I'm phoning. Uh, and eventually I got out, I'm like, yo, my bro. This is one of the bro. Any gigs coming up now, my bro? Uh, yeah, what gigs you what what gigs you pushing? I'm perform. Um, I'm gonna host an event, co-host an event with somebody at Conjures in uh, Mulnerton now on it's Friday. Mulnerton now. Are we at Savannah now? Yeah, in Florida. Oh shit, they moved. It's many years since I've been. Nah, but that Conjures was open already when Conjures oh, was okay, in Plumstead. Okay, okay. Conjures in Plumstead just don't exist anymore. Um, yeah. I'm having an event there um, on the 26th the Friday and then on Sunday I'm performing in Co- uh, at Cozy Cove in Robertson. Mm-hmm. Um, youngsters also as youngsters headlining there. Um, I'm not sure if M. Join is also going to be, po- be on the lineup. Um, and then yeah, for on the 1st of July I'm going to be here, here by the Woodfest in I think Spine Road I. Mm. Uh, and on the 16th of, Anwar, of, no? of yeah that's with Anwar mm. Mm. and then on the 16th of, of, of June we at Battery Park in, in, in Waterfront save the stage uh, guys save the stage are we that's a little park it's coming up now and then also some other future stuff that the man's doing but like I said bro I'm not really focusing on the music mm. for now I'm, in the month, I'm, I'm taking a bit of a Listen to, uh, to everybody watching, if you want to ask uh, um, Krawos any questions, send it here, we'll ask him. We've got a, a couple of guys saying, what what can we look forward to for the next EP? Are you working on an album? Are you? I'm always working on my album, um, but I'm just creating, man. Whatever is worthy of an album track, I put aside, you get what I'm saying? So certain stuff, 
I want my album to be like a masterpiece, bro. I don't just want it any random track. So all the, the stuff that I that I don't feel is worthy of being in, on the album, I'll put one side for maybe an EP or a mixtape ah. or just as a so a single that I want to put out or so. But other than that, I'm just um, stacking tracks, my bro. Just always working. I don't I have a few that's supposed to be coming out now. Just drop that this this track now tonight. Um, so yeah, shooting is working all the time, man. But I'm not pressured, man, bro. Like I said, I don't. It's not my main focus right now. Music is not my main focus, man, bro. Is, so there, is there maybe any collaborations that you can look forward to in future? Um, yeah, uh, most of the stuff that I'm putting out now is gonna be collabor. Uh, well, it's gonna be collaborations between me and three other artists now. That's my next three drops after this. Um, I don't want to mention names yet ah. to say um, I'm mm. gonna do this with that person because the tracks are done already. But I wanted to be a surprise for people. I mean, I don't like to promote shit. Man. I'd rather just um, like no promo is the best promo for me. Man. Yeah, it's more of a surprise for the man to utter the blue. Because people get bored of watching and seeing the same thing over and over. If, if somebody, that's just how I think, um, if I see somebody promoting something all the time on, on social media, I can see nah, this marketing skill you're trying and this went into that. If somebody puts an influence into a music video, so I can see what they are trying to do. Man. So okay, 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 now okay. you're putting this thing in my face all the time when it drops, I'm only going to watch it once and then afterwards it's not going to, because it's, I expected it. Man. You okay. hear what I'm saying? So... I'd rather give people the unexpected one. That's just my, my way of doing things. Mm. Other people would now rather believe that promo is, is better, but I just like to do things differently. So you dropped a liquor track tonight now, no? Yeah, just now. So it's on YouTube. Oh, check it out. Um, Krobo's YouTube channel. Um, this track, my bro. It's a, it's, a, it's a heavy track. It's a heavy track, bro. It looks a bit evil. <laughs> <laughs> it does uh, look a bit evil. Yeah, but... It's alright, it must be evil, you must feel it. Obviously, are you, are you expecting any, any re, uh, responses to this this track? I don't think, even if they do respond, it's... Um, I just think people are going to like it, man. Uh. Um, to me, it's my, also my, just a marketing strategy. You know, people like negativity, so... So, you, yeah, you want to push so that side of... me to make a back from it. I wouldn't have done it if I, if I wasn't going to earn from it. So, yeah, but if there is any backlash or any repercussions, if anybody wants to come back on me, you know, we're ready, bro. Same you open it up on the track. We're ready. I'm ready, bro. You're always ready. I'm always ready. Did you, did you um, enter any of the, the ciphers and stuff like that? No. Not on the freestyle, on, on the, just off the top type of thing, one. I you prefer mean, writing? I prefer like, you know, writing, the Indabas yeah. ad and all of these things on the Thursdays, battling? I, I didn't pay much attention to the scene, man, before 2020. Um, yeah, I just came out of the blue, man, bro. I didn't... Uh, you just came out of the blue, right? Yeah, bro. Nobody knew about me. I didn't know about anybody. So now even I'll meet somebody and then... That person maybe expects me to know who he is and he ah, <laughs> <I> is <laughs> boy, he is an important man in the industry but and he has been know. doing yeah. it for so long, but I'll just be like, who the fuck are you, bro? I, I have girls. <laughs> and then then afterwards I feel a bit of cut, but bro, that's my just that I didn't know. If I knew who you were, I'd maybe had a bit more respect to if I followed you, I would have had a bit more respect, but mm. I just don't know. I'm just gonna respect you as a normal person, speak to you normally as what I would have treated anybody else, you get what I'm saying? I got a, I got yeah. a question here from Regan O'Malley. He says, so we know a lot of artists still have full-time day jobs, and maybe there's a handful of artists that have turned music into a full-time, like lucrative stream of income. So in your opinion, do you feel it's something that is currently attainable for yourself? And is that what you are looking forward to, to do? Um, a day job? I don't think, any like something you attainable, I think he's asking you like a full-on lucrative stream of income. Um, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of money to be made in the industry. It's all about like knowing where money comes from in the game. So then 
obviously targeting those things i'm struggling i'm struggling in my job scene here but i'm not i'm also not working i'm surviving from the music but only surviving mm. scene here. Um, okay and but i see the potential and every payment i get it's always more you get what i'm saying so um. i can only imagine what it could be in like a few years time yeah so i see the potential the thing has mm. but i also think that um having a day job and being an artist at the time it's just um too much work you, you're never gonna have enough time to become successful in music because music takes a lot of time off from you mm. like i um, saw that one page where you posted and you just had a whole lot of papers in there yeah and like this is what it takes and there's probably only like three four solid songs out of that so it's gonna take you to write like a hundred whack verses to write one dope verse bro Um, it takes whack, a lot. Uh, yeah. Whack verses to make one day first, maybe. Uh, maybe now that's something that the fans need to understand. Maybe. Yeah, everything you write is not necessarily sellable, or it's not necessarily dope. You might feel it, but mm. people have. That's my difficulty with this thing. People have a certain type of expectation of you, like um, they want that crowbars in the first video, ah. but. I'm not always in that space to write stuff like that and what I spat in that first video it took some time and so all the great stuff like Ramadullahs uh, mm. that that stuff take take a bit of time and you have to work and I'll explain it also like in detail if you can see like what the rhymes scheme is in the how many consecutive rhymes how many internal rhymes the is in the like keeping like the first verse is 35 rhymes that's the same in a 16 bar verse like usually uh, rappers would just rap like rap 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 but it's like that 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 all over the place you get what i'm saying so that takes a bit of time to to make sense out of all that rhymes and squeeze it into a 16 so yeah it's a, it's hard work bro it's not easy i'm struggling in my jobs bro <laughs> Because you obviously have need to, like from a writing point of view, you're mm. switching it up all the time. Like, listen, I need to switch it up. Yeah, definitely. You get writer's block in one, in one um, genre, like, say for instance, like the hard stuff, just spitting bars all the time. I'll get writer's block, uh, writer's block on that and just be like, okay, now uh, switch it up, try to do a bit of English, uh, try to sing a bitchy, try to do dance or um, mm. just so that I... Um, consistent and I keep on writing uh, instead of just um, being stuck on that one place trying to figure this shit out and then I waste a week or two or three uh, I could have just been writing something else and mm. just come back to that you just yeah. go in with the flow of it saying I actually feel like I want to do a track yeah. like this or I want to write this way if yeah. I get stuck on one thing I jump to the next thing mm. and just Double leave it there not to say that it's gonna um, go to waste I'll come back to it when I'm in that space again man Don't burn yourself out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't burn yourself uh, out. Yeah. Question here: Who would, would you like to collaborate with? If there was anybody that you that's could. From Devlin, really. Nah, no. that's not Devlin. That's Tracy. No. Oh, that's yeah, that's Tracy. Uh, sorry. Who would you like to to work out with? Ever? In the country. I think anyway, anybody. Anyway, bro. Let's say internationally. Let's first start internationally. If you had a chance to collab with someone, who would you collab with? Um. No one. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I prefer me making music on my own. Bro, but yeah, in the country, I'd like to collaborate with Early B okay. and um, Cream. Um, eventually, I'd like to collaborate with Young C. He's up for it in there. Um, I'm joining. Are they bringing you? Yeah, I've got, I've got the collaboration with him. Yeah. Yeah. There's, yeah. yeah. there's a bromance. Oh, are you going to say there's a bromance? I don't know. I don't know. Internationally, my favorite artist is the Marco. So if I could ever be feature that man, it would be great. Um, I don't know if people know who the Marco is. Um, yeah, bro. Just... I like to create organically, man. I like to make music with people I can sit with, man. So don't send me a track, don't send me a verse. You don't don't it mustn't be like a, a business that must be yeah. like, listen, I actually got the vibe going a, with you. I mean, ah. Don't send me a beat. And also, if we do link, don't expect anything to come out of the first session that we made, man. Mm. Like, I want to chill with you, I want to get to know you. Yeah, get the vibe, I want to... 
I want to know if you're a good man also because now I can make a song with you and then a week later I find out now nah, you actually a, a cuck person to others man so, and you don't treat people well you disrespectful towards your tiny and all that stuff and and, and then I'm spite because I made a song with you you give it on yeah. so and I first want to get to yeah. know you as a person man on a, on a personal level instead of just working together because it will be beneficial to both of our brands and mm. and all of that stuff it's just mm. like to lump with people in studio and organically create something whatever comes out it comes out whatever doesn't yeah. Not still gonna force it, man. Mm. So but it's also like a way of yeah, doing it. Because you're feeling the own, you're like, you oh, know, nah, this yeah. partnership is actually not gonna work, or whatever the case is. Yeah. Even with, with like um, producers, the way I'm, like, I've, uh, I've, I've learned that I have a weird way of working compared to a lot of the other artists, man. Mm. Like, I don't go to the studio to record something that I wrote to a specific beat, man. My producer will lump the and you'll be like, what are we feeling today? Ah. Um, I said, nah, I don't know, something bouncing. Okay, something clubby. So, okay, now nah, let's listen to some T-Pain shit to get the reference yeah. and whatever his hits was in the time. Now we listen to maybe buy you a drink or bartender or whatever. And we get that tempo, get the chords, not necessarily exactly like that, but mm. we just create that same type of feeling because we're in that space right now. We create from scratch. Uh. While he's creating the beat there, I'm writing things. And, and now you see where this is going. And see, I'm seeing where he's at and he's seeing where I'm at. We uh. know exactly from the start of the project where it's what we want to achieve. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Both of us are on the same page. But now producers send you beats and they will they were in one headspace they they pictured it as a club song and you feeling a love song on it you get what i'm saying mm. so you're not necessarily in the same space as the producer and that's why i just like to create from scratch and on the spot mm. oh, best way yeah just how, that's much as i work with it i got can yeah. i have a bit more water man yes, please no change man. yeah now they can organize you yeah i got another one um they're saying what thoughts what's your what positive thoughts have you got for the youth out there what could you teach them mm. um, because obviously you you pushing from where you came, bro. I just I just want the youth to be happy, me bro, and to do what whatever makes them happy, man. Don't uh, do what other people are telling you to do. Um, don't conform to the norms of society. Don't give in to peer pressure. Um, whatever you love, if all your friends are playing soccer and you love rugby, then go play rugby. Go, you uh, go play rugby yeah. If all your friends love music and you like to draw, then draw, man, bro. Since you can only do something that, um, to the best of your ability, if you love doing it, you get what I'm saying. So, yeah, just do what you love, be happy, and be don't complain. Mm. Mm. Anything is out there for you, if it's at your reach, bro. Just Go and get it. Work as hard as you have to. Doesn't mean you sit up on the back foot that you can't achieve it. You just have to work a bit harder. So yeah. It'll take a harder to be a harder graph, yeah. When, uh, when, Taylor's asking you, when you bringing the baby out? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I brought the baby out already. They must get sick for you. The baby just baby dropped. Yeah, yeah, the baby, baby, baby just <laughs> dropped. You can go onto the, uh, on I YouTube. Did, I did bring the baby yeah. out. Um, Crowbars, D-O-M. Um, KG, KGM, this, you can go check it out there on YouTube, stream that motherfucker up there, you know, <laughs> Mr. Baz, don't play. Give <laughs> <laughs> us a line of the, of, of the, just a soft line of the, of the diss track. There's no soft lines in yeah, there. No, 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 there's no okay, soft lines. Okay, no, no, guys, 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 there's no soft lines. Go, line. yeah, uh, go watch yeah, it there on, on, on YouTube. Got if you on, go. So, I will just bitterly, I sit on myself and zip it to negatively when my temperature is up, it's blessed for me, and that is probably the the softest the line. The softest yes, line, yeah. yeah. But it's also a hard line, bro, because uh. it's, rappers are illiterate, man. Yeah, rappers don't. What the fuck were you telling me? <laughs> the man is here, bro. I love sometimes I listen to some of the man shit and then they're the best, bro. They're the best. I like it. Shot Ryan. With your top five, you were talking about a lot of the Owens, aka bro, the cream, bro, the. Um, Youngster Stogie, and, and this is Owen said right, man. Yeah. Which is what I like because you're talking about how actually putting this together, and a lot of them will 
throw that lion's view is like, oh my bro, whoa, whoa, wait. I like it when you must rewind it. Oh, what did you say now? Then I must go back and, and I'm like, oh my bro, this was... It's either very real or thought provoking. Uh, yeah. Like that's why I like when I saw that first one I, I saw you was when you were on the balcony there when you were... I was like, oh my bro, this man is talking about the struggle of the man, so my bro. Uh, I'm like, and I thought, nah, that was just perfectly summed up what we find happening on the Cape Flats. Yeah, bro. What makes a great rapper for me, you know, is not that blatant bars that you can catch just so soon. Uh, you don't want the, the 99% to get your bars. You, know, mm. you, know. you want that that one percent to fang that shit over five years or over ten years you get what i'm saying that's what makes me go what makes a, another rapper great thing for me like be put everything over my head bro yeah don't put it in my face if i fang your boys okay go i understand that's a hard bar but i mean if i fang that shit in two years time i'm gonna be like yo powerful, my bro. how oh, like did that <laughs> man think of that shit my and bro and i only fang it now you get what i'm saying that's what makes me, what, what makes other rappers great to me, man, too, man. That's why I like Grand Weezy, I just now, the other day, I found out one of his lines in some old song that he said, um, I still have, I still got the vision, like a line between two dots, my bro, and I was talking about the division signs, music, but I only fa- found it like... A five years later. Eight, <laughs> oh, ten years later, my bro, and that's what makes you great, my bro, man, too, man. Don't... Be an obvious rapper, don't uh, put that stuff in my face where I find it because you know, I'm just bored of that line already. I know you said it's okay, quiet. Yeah, mm. it's just uh. quiet. It's clear. I found, I found the ball already. Yeah. I'm just checking if there's any other questions here. Have you got any questions? Crow is here. Uh, send it in the hip hop culture to the next level, my brother. Don't have message the brown Andrews. messenger and then you're like, yeah, when is he gonna, you know? Tracy's so asking what's for supper. What's so we're going to get there now, Tracy. Listen, we do a pro session mm. as well. What, what, what do you do? A pro session. A pro session. session. Yeah, what so you're going to pro something now, Phil. What is With that? us while we are here. Tracy, you can see and then if you've got questions, send it in. You can yeah, ask Crow now, he's here. Down, so down. guys, today we um, we have M&Ds. Hmm? What is it? M&Ds, M&Ds, yeah. yeah. Man in Mitchell's Plain, Colorado, Bergen, Pizza Joint. I don't know. Must have seen you <laughs> man. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know what Colorado is. You know. Colorado? Mm. Nah, I just know. Are you know. not from Cape Town, bruh? I have my man's <laughs> love all over in the plains, you know, uh, just like the... But you just know how to drive to them. The Portlands, the Westridge. The Portlands, the Portlands is not... Westridge is not too far <laughs> from Colorado, my bro. Away. You can bring it, let's bring it. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what's happening, let's see what's happening. So, hopefully it's still warm. Hopefully it's still warm. Nah, it will be warm, man. It will be warm. Is it strong? No, it's not strong, man. It's not strong. We're trying something. Javon, what are we trying? We're doing tonight, no? A Gatsby pizza. A Gatsby pizza. A kebab pizza. A Gatsby pizza, man. This, this is not M&D's Gatsby bro. pizza, so let's just get... Um, M&D, let's just check what you're doing. He's going to open up. He's got a, a thingy there. A Gatsby um, pizza, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Gatsby, yeah, pizza, yeah. Maybe, yeah. A Gatsby pizza, pizza, maybe. So we're going to see here. So, so you're gonna like ask asking here now. We're gonna have to open it maybe now. Yeah, no, no. Throw it out. Open it. Let's check it out. Check it out, Owens. Whoa. Now, how is this a Gatsby pizza? It <laughs> looks like it has some slap chips on it, bro. It looks like it has some slap chips on the pizza, man, bro. <laughs> So let's, yeah, let's uh, get me pizza, bro. So they prove it, my bro. Tell us what you think. Tell them what you think because they you must now prove in there what's okay, going on. This is my first time. Is this two slices? This is this two slices? That's one, my bro. Oh, it's two. Okay, now nah, it's two. It's two. It's two. It's two. It's yeah. A Gatsby pizza? Who puts chips on a pizza? We must go to the bus station by and tell us what you think. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's M and D, no? Yes, Ishmael, he has dropped the diss track. You can check it out on YouTube. Yeah, now he's saying, listen, it's a bit too hard for, for Facebook. So um, he gave us two lines from the Ishmael. So I check it out. I need a knife. I eat pizza with a knife and a fork. Jeez. Yo, my brother. Yeah, my brother is on my double. 
Sabbath, uh, Ubi Dees, maybe we call it Arupa, guys. This is this when they release us now recently. I don't know, bro. But this is. Pizza member, now who is going to get you a get me pizza? There is a basic. There is no every detail. Just say you must get you one. Listen, your Daryl's asking what is. What do you think of Jayco? Um. While you are eating liquor, there. I think. I think. I think the call is is one of the one of the leading um, rap artists right now. Um, but I know, I know, I know what to expect of him. Mm. I just know that he's gonna drop a hard verse all the time. Mm. You know, there's a reason why I would pick Kendrick over him. Because um, Kendrick switches it but up. But he is hard. It's the same thing with Joyner Lucas also. Joyner, Joyner Lucas is hard, but I just. I know what to expect of them, and they're just gonna come through hard. Senior, but they never like surprise me with something new. Okay. Senior. So you're looking for something different, like oh, maybe I didn't expect that. Mm. Drake. <laughs> <laughs> From think, an artist's point of view. I think Drake is the greatest artist of all time. Bro. A man um, locked of two of the biggest, even like Michael Jackson and Bob Marley. Like I think he's he's way bigger than them. Um, as a as a much bigger catalog than them, um, mm. and still to be competing for as long as he's in the industry to still be like competing with number one, number two, number three, and give it him. Ah. It takes a lot of work to do that, bro. Cause his new album really switched it up, man, bro. It came out, it was hmm? very different. His new album. Another yeah. question here. Um, okay, now we're not gonna ask a question. Um, which hip hop artist had the biggest influence on you pursuing the rap game? That's Andres. Andres is asking that question. Um, I want to know. Luda Kirsch. Luda. Luda, bro. Are you gonna specify this one? I'm going to. The biggest, biggest influence, Luda. Jay. Luda and Kanye West. I was about to ask you about Kanye. Luda and Kanye West Owens. I'm sorry, man. But I need to get me another stick of this. <laughs> so what do you think about the pizza? Away now the pizza's the pizza's dangerous, my bro. M and D's you said. M and D, yeah. M and D in Colorado. Colorado. This is the Gatsby pizza. Uh, Gatsby pizza they came up with it. I'm just like my bro, this is <laughs> next level. <laughs> yeah, this is this is. It's a swap pizza, no? It's heavy, yeah. Oh. That's heavy. But you say it's 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 doing the trick. Hmm? Ah, it's not called chicken. So do you think that chips? Do you think they can put chips on the pizza? Now that you taste it, fine. Mmm. Yeah, it works. It works. It works. Maybe we can work on bread. I would have loved to have it like fresh in there. This is the chima one. This is the chima. So the chima. What's the chima? Um, chima is most natural. But it works, bro. You mix. You mix chicken. Oh, you got serviettes this week. Mmm. Thank you to technical support for the service. We appreciate you. <laughs> with um, chicken here. Um, <laughs> Taking reports from India, guys. Okay, now he did release it. Kevin Peterson, he did release it. Then here, uh, Bron is asking, when are you and Youngster going to start a record track? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I must reach another level, thing. I'm still to pursue in one thing. <laughs> 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 Eugene says, yeah. um, Crow Bass, I can't help you, bro. Big up, Eugene. Sorry, my bro. All my body is with pizza. <laughs> but salute. <laughs> Appreciate all the love and support from the men's of Manyara. Just a lot of love, bro. I don't usually get negative comments or, neg- or dislikes on my shit. Um, Everybody just always... Because everybody that's tuning in is loving you, my bro. So as I hear you say, Mr. Crow, straight funny parkwood. Funny parkwood, they're sending you love, bro. Was that also like a drive where you were wanting to get out of... Not get out, but also to show the area, like... you could, We can do this, man. You know? I didn't want to be a rapper, my bro. I don't want to do that. I still hate it. I hate the camera. I hate um, performing live. Always nervous. Even if I shoot a music video, I'm nervous. I hate it, man. But it's the worst part. But it's part of the job, and it's just because I have to do it. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, it's also to me like 
people are always asking me like what do i give back to the community and so and i tell him like obviously financially i'm not in that um position yet i believe that if you do something you must do it properly man so i don't just want to give the light is a pot of soup or, mm. or a pot of agni you get mm. what i'm saying i want to do i want to give them a fishing rod instead of a fish you get what i'm saying so, and it's my bro Um, so yeah but it's also just like they'll see me there and they'll see me on youtube and they don't think anything of me because they used to me already i can work for you for day and it wouldn't be like somebody who sees me only online and chat yeah. this year it's just normal for them already but just me being around there around them every day mm. you see now fuck man it's it's not that difficult i can Just can, yeah. take a video post it online and also my beer the next girl boys or the next whoever the case mm. may be or uh. you know what I'm saying do you know what's asking you are you gonna do anything with cream um you yeah, I would love to bro but like I said man I just want to lump and chill and have a beer with it must be organic yeah I mean, so you have a list but like it will happen you first need to make sure that the browser right is tiny as long as it is tiny Because that's what you're basically saying. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have. It doesn't allow me have a beer. What do you think of 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 Lance's hey. Lance's box free style? That's what um Cole's asking. Cole is asking. Yeah. I think it's dope. You think it's dope? I think it's dope, bro. Um, I think maybe you could have switched up the flow of some place in the along the line, mm. just like to um. consistent with the same flow there but that, that's dope bro anything that man puts out is dope simply because he knows what he's doing yeah Shabudin is saying that they've, they've been hearing you spit bars from college days in Athlone my brother hmm? Shabudin Parker well I mean some I'm not sure if it was the same but I think you know, it was that man who was meant to own them golden dish at the time mm-hmm. not sure but that way it's always rapping for the money on college always um, facing them with the big up scroll the same big up scroll yeah oh is a rond op ieder gebied we been we been driving bro we been seeing this cherry pop trending this cherry pop jive did you did you see this trending at the moment You tried it not yet. No, no I So I, I saw this know, I trending and then I saw it at our local spa in Strandfontein. So if you guys are needing some cherry pop jive, <laughs> you can definitely go to spa in Strandfontein. Bro, spa must pay you to bring out them, bro. Nice spa to you, the most of Strandfontein, bro. Now we give shout outs to our own, to our businesses, to the main so that's doing. Really? We love Strandfontein, bro. We love our main, so we love you guys. I know what you mean, bro, in Strandfontein. Like a bomb, yes, I saying we've been hearing this man's foot bars from the st- from the stairs, my bro. So, so what we're gonna do is, would you like to sample the school sauce, sir, so that we can have our, our opinion, so that you can also tell the man so what you think of cherry pop, what does it remind you of? I think this is gonna remind you of something of back in the days. Moni's in the church or not more? <laughs> <laughs> what? So that so that means that you um, what church? What is it? I'm Pentecostal. Pentecostal. Uh, The Christian community. So they don't, they don't do in the park, oh, that one. Yeah, okay. You want to do the one? Yeah, now we can give some of that. And then you got, um, yeah, the main just want in this, this track with, with, um, with cream, my bro. The main just want in the collab. Oh, yeah, nice. That's oh, your bro. fans, bro. They all want in the collab with cream. But if we do that, what are they going to expect after that? Uh, what's next? What's next? So you want to, you want to build it more from, so I have to step by step. More. Mm. Two years more, a year and a half more. Ah, my bro. I definitely would like to do it. I think the two of you in the studio. Woo! So, so where you want it? You know, I'm like sitting there together, beats is playing, and now you're like coming up with stuff, and you're like, you're, whatever you want to, whatever topic, I think it's going to be class, my bro. That's just, oh. What, what so is like my new, it's like there's a red pin pop. What? <laughs> no. But the red pin pop, the pin pop, the red pin pop. Mm. The, 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 the pin pop, it's the red pin pop. Mm. Yeah, I got another question here. Uh, if you could do anything else other than music, what would it be? Because you no. must say now you weren't really gonna rap. You didn't really want to. 
Yeah, I don't. I just do it because I love it, and also because I see the potential. Anything other than that, um, it's probably be a boiler maker. Do you have some used to do steel work in there. Gold shit with steel, I also enjoy that. Um, yeah, bro. Some welding, cutting up shit. And, and then you were coming to the table of the workshop, you would like to get your hands. I, I think you yeah, got over the hands. Yeah, guys, you might see Crowbar on the I've only been in show, any LA with the grinders, mm-hmm. the, the welding machines, the cutting tools, and all that stuff in my hands. Like an 8 mile wipe. Uh, <laughs> Nah, yeah, Tino, Tino is asking, um, have you heard of uh, Kieran the Light? No. Nah, he hasn't. He hasn't heard of Ki- um, Kieran the Light, Tino. Maybe you must send a link or something. I mean, send a link out there for Kieran and we can see what he's, what he's up to. I always check out the, the new money and then from time to time, so they must just tag me in the post and stuff. And you know, I'm some, from time to time I'll hit a few of them up and be like, okay, I like what you're doing, it's dope. Trust the effort that you put in. Um, what would it take you to get me, to get yourself in the studio with me and so mm-hmm. and I'm open to working with anybody, bro. But I see you also share, you which is liquor. Mm-hmm. You will share your post. Yeah. Some men say, don't share your post, my bro. It depends, bro. On what it is, in the, my page I keep solely for music. But like on my personal profile, I'll share stuff of, of other people's stuff. So yeah. That's why Connor must feel special. That's why Connor feels special. Yeah. Connor but was it was still my music, did you? My lighty was posted on the page. He actually, um, you said you wanted to meet him and you responded. But then I told him I'll have you give him a shout out. It's, it's very, bro, it's very, like, how can I say? What's the word, man? It's very fulfilling for me to see the youth are looking up to me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, even old people, senior. people not the not my age group, senior. so if like a 60 year old time comes to me and say, yo, it's a pretty very, thank you for the people that the people are doing, or people are always doing, and if the light is shout, grow boys, it is, right, it's a different type of feeling, senior. it's just also my motivation and inspiration. That's why I'm also trying to like watch what the man's putting, man, because, ah. okay, sometimes, bro, like, you have to come out hard also to, like, gain a certain level of respect by, not the public, but the people in, in the industry, yeah. So yeah. The everybody, your, comp- your competition, not that you're competing with anybody, but I mean, to the people you are, you know? mm. so, the people is always going to choose the best rapper and it's your, your clients, your customers and it's mm. like KFC um, competing with McDonald's even though they're selling um, two different things, you get what I'm saying? Mm. But people would rather want the people to come by by KFC than by McDonald's, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just about to just to keep the audience um, interactive with me and to know that they're still fucking with my shit and listening to my music, you get what I'm saying? I don't want them to lose hopes in me and yeah. lose faith in them, man. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> Got another question here? Um, um, okay, now that is the... Yeah, how did the whole Celeste Saga affect your progress as an artist? Uh, did it? I did. Uh, it, only, it, it stagnated me a bit because when I was with them, I, was, I had budget behind my name since then I could do more mm. um, but on the other side it, it again taught me a lot it educated me more and I feel like the knowledge is more valuable than any money or any budget that could um, be behind you so I've learned way more than what I would have learned if I stayed with him you know, mm. or in the period of time when I was with him you know, so stepping away from them yeah it did it did affect me it did give me a knock but i know a lot more now you know and I ah, understand a lot I, st- I, st- I, st- I understand a lot more than than um, what i did when i was with him and about what i'm doing so there's that it's pros and cons it's, it was a bit of a, of a setback but it was also like the knowledge I gained out of being on my own, doing, having to do things for myself because now 
uh, I'm not outsourcing everything anymore. I'm not just only the artist in the uh. in the studio making the music. I'm now also the the publisher and the I'm the old orchestrator. I'm the boss now. So mm. about putting it all together, you're yeah. making it work. Yeah. Okay, I need so to sort the graphic the music band. video. I need to do all that stuff, site yeah. location, so all And also stuff. just the authority, man. Since like, yeah, the, bro, it was just a lot of pressure for me to answer to people about my own craft, man. Like if I smack to have a off day, I don't need you to come and direct me. No, you need to be in the studio or, or like ah. that, man. Since like now I understand that the level that I reach is totally dependent on me, since not on somebody else. Somebody else, if I don't smile to go into the studio today, then even though I have to be there, but you know, some days you just don't smile to eat the job. Mm. So then I d- it's just better to not answer to anyone. Mm. To Do you have it freedom? Yeah, definitely. If I have a freedom, it's true. Have we got another one? Are you going to ask a question there? Eh? Another one. How did the alias Judd Lincoln come about? It's not an mm. alias, it's my real name. It's real name? <laughs> it's my, it's nine. That's for uh, Joandre. Uh, it's my second and third name, man. So, my full name is Kyle Chad Lincoln Filman. Regan, sorry, that is Regan asking that question, yeah. So, I just never wanted people to also know my, my real name. That's how I distinguish, and even Judd Lincoln's birthday is on a different day. Like, my birthday was the other day, and the meat it just brought me the yellow gifts, my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were buying me bottles and put this in for making me the yellow buses. It's just like, nah, thank you, man. Appreciated me, bro. God bless you. Are you saying happy birthday to you? Yes, my bro. And you accepted it? I had a whole birthday, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> a whole full blown <laughs> birthday, <laughs> my bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, that's how I know, Gengi. That means you don't really know me, man. So people will come into, uh, come into the, uh, um, like, Say when I'm when I'm outside in public in clubs or in the road or so, meets will come to me. Hi Judd, hi Jude. Um, then I really don't know. Okay, you just know me on Facebook, see? Mm. And yeah, bro, it's just my just for my way for me to tell what who knows me and who doesn't. Last question <laughs> in closing. Okay. Last question in closing. Oh yeah, so what's that quarter to ten? This, come now, this comes from Fadil Mosa. Um, where is Crowbar Street three years from now? Yeah, you can't say, bro. I don't know. Bro, anything can happen. Um, but yeah, I would like to to be a liquor. I've made a liquor a uh, few albums and succe- I've made more success from my music. But I also don't want to rap for too long and I'll give m- myself rapping maybe five years now. But then afterwards, I'll just, I just want to do songs like when I have listeners. You get what I'm saying? So I'll work hard for now for the next five years. But then I also want to educate myself so much that I can do it for other artists in the game too. Oh. Uplifting the next one. Oh, yeah, you give it I think that's nice, though. Giving the next man the right I think that's nice. Yeah. So I, don't, I don't want to rap for too long, man. Yeah. I'll still make music when in the stilter for myself, but not actively be in the industry. I'll give it five years from now. Yeah. And then you want to go to artist management, show them what you've learned, helping them grow, pushing the next one out. Yeah. Hopefully I have a record label also, bro, because, but I'll have, it, I'll have a record label different from what record labels are doing now, man, because we moved away from that, and everything that the record label can do for you now, you can do on your own, mm. if you have money or if you have the knowledge, and like, everything I'm doing now, I'm not paying for, so it's um, basically from nothing to something. Mm. <laughs> Say louder. Just for from nothing to something. From nothing to something, yeah. By using my network and the knowledge that I've gained for the time that I've been in the industry, um, I'm not just using that to to get along, bro. I'll tell you something offset. I can't say this offset. But listen, your, 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 <laughs> your fans and your following uh, and your, the main so is just... Love you, bro. Lo- they love you, my bro. It's true what you're saying. There's a lot of owners that just... You. They're loving you. They're owners saying thank yeah, you for what you're doing. Your respect. Um, I, I appreciate them, mom, and I always tell the main so the, when they when they pick up a man so in person when I get from stage or so, 
always say you thanks thanks to you man i appreciate you more than what you appreciate me because i mean what's the artist without these listeners or mm. supporters you get what i'm saying it's only people only see me as crowbars because um i have so many people supporting me man you get what i'm saying yeah. there's other dope man is sitting at home rapping way better than what i can making better music than what i can but they don't necessarily have that support mm. or that um, listeners you get what i'm saying mm. My, i don't know if there's many reasons why they, they don't have it seems like but um yeah bro so people just perceive me as crowbars because of the support man bro so i'm grateful for that man. so and that's also like I, t- I wanted to to quote to really my bros is this stuff my bro i've lost a lot of important things to me because of the rapping my bro since and the time that i have to offer up to to my music and at the end of the day bro i just felt like yo fuck man i'm just gonna leave this and just go back to working mm. um spending time with my family just dedicating my life towards something else man but then, yeah. then i just think to myself yo there's so many people that's de- that's depending on me to make it that's mm. waiting for me to drop the next song that's paying interest to in my life that support me to this point how can i just give up now see that so that's the motivation man, bro. just keep on going uh, i think it's always good when you when you <laughs> um when you got that youth that looks up to you yeah like, the fact that you're not gonna fail man yeah. or they don't want to see you fail and i was like they're watching you they're watching they're watching like you're my bro crow so yeah, when you dropping your next track besides the diss track? Um, I might put something out next week if that. Oh, this, look forward, that, look if forward. That, if, okay. that, if that, if that, if that diss track um go uh, dies out a bit, mm. might put um uh, another track out with another artist, a big man or so. Um, and then I'm shooting my next video soon or so, and I didn't confirm the date yet. But I have a lot of tracks, man, you know, I don't go to studio, like I said, I don't go to studio to record my, my next release, man. So I can just, if the time is right, I can just decide, okay, now nah, nah, is the time yeah. to put this song out. Mm. The song fits whatever's happening in the world right now. Put that one out, too. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, my bro. Unfortunately, we're going to have to, like, do a bit of a... Uh, what's the word a quick ending because it's low cheating it's going to happen to now soon in like the next 15 minutes or so um but your my bro thank you for joining us um shout out to all the followers for sending your questions in it's also your you time to get to know him a bit more some of the questions was really dope uh, because you gave some great answers and answer the questions for the fans but um people don't know about you but i think it's looking to get in your head yeah oh. Nice shot to you guys for having me and also for making a man feel so comfortable. Um, first time I ate the Tips pizza. <laughs> so yeah, experience is also for the night. Uh, and we have police up, man, yo. And just free flowing the whole thing, bro. It was cut easy. It was daily. Like no pressure, like, yeah. bro. Oh. Which is yeah, what yeah. we said because before this, we were like, listen, no questions, none of that pre stuff. We're just going to. We're gonna talk like a part owner says this. And give the and give the the actual Ah and the yeah. followers yeah. give the actual followers okay. a chance to ask questions and yeah. get to know you more. Right. And that's what they appreciate because a lot of them said thank you after you answered. So shout out to you guys. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm not going to fist bump. Nah, no, yeah, you already gave him about 22 fist bumps. I'm going to fist bump my battle. This man is actually totally in person, just so if anyone's watching that. But I have some first thing you need to always tell me. This man is like, oh, I'm going to fist bump. 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 But, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, Crow Boss. Maybe everything of the best for your future. It looks prosperous, my brother and these big things happening in your life. Javon, thank you. Yeah, listen, I just want to say, I'm looking forward to the artist manager, the studio. I think that will be something lekker, man. You can, then you can officially say there's a brother came out of Parko that has his own studio that's mm. bringing up artists. That's sitting, like, I believe some of the stuff you push through and you win over is because of this, the person that's coming behind you. Um, so shout out for what you're doing, my bro. I appreciate it. And respect for the beats that you are dropping. Um, the lyrics just keep on doing it like you said for the next three to five years 
I'll definitely be a we wanna have you on. I know good faces coming up, there's a couple of other good ones, but yeah, it will be yeah, lekker. Also maybe no. Definitely. Salute to everybody who's supporting me also. Much love, you know, Mr. Baz, don't play. Just let me know also there what you guys think about that this. I'm gonna respond to the comments now and that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna be on my phone now all night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, salute to everybody, man. You also salute to you guys also for having the man, the Preston and Joven show. Much love. So, yeah, thank you, Owens. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. To everybody <laughs> that's tuned in, um, much love. Love reciprocates love. So, whatever you're going to give out is what you're going to get in return. Preston, myself, Crowbars, peace. Have a little weekend. Um, and we will see you next week. When you guys have me next week. Gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you.